Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Rowell. Alright, so I just decided I wanted to get out and explore my city a little bit here and I'm over in Cameron Park, or Cameron Park just kind of wandering around seeing what I can see. Just kind of some nice kind of hiking trails back here so we're going to see what I can uh, run into back here. What kind of trouble I can get myself into. Yeah, I don't know, that trail may be a little steep. Yeah, there's the river down there. Good old Brazos. Apparently this is a popular jogging trail. I guess I could understand the popularity of this. It's really beautiful back here. But I gotta kinda pay attention to where I'm going or I'm gonna get lost in here. Check out all the wild bamboo back here. That's kinda cool. A lot of people don't know this, but bamboo is in the same family as uh, grass. And some species can grow like a foot a day. It's just thick back here. Guess no horses on this bridge. Probably good advice. Probably wouldn't hold up to them very well. really kind of a nice day to be walking back here. It's about 70 degrees, kind of partly cloudy up there, so not beating down on the sun so much. picnic bench area back here. I think this kind of goes up into the park area where I parked my car. If I have my bearings right. Yep, looks like it. So I'm kind of back where I saw the armadillo and I think I hear him rustling around in there again. In fact, I'm pretty sure I see him in there. See him? That is an official armadillo sighting. Rooting around for a little something to eat back there. Made a little uh, crackling on the grass before. I think this is probably the same one I saw when he took off running. So I'm just going to kind of keep my distance this time. Let the zoom function on the camera do all the work. trying to be really quiet right now so I don't scare him because I'm about 15 feet away from him.
All right, so that was today's episode of Wild Kingdom. I'm going to let him go do his thing now. we got enough good footage of him. So we're just going to kind of continue exploring around here, going on the trail here. I guess this is the running trail, so I guess if I follow the signs, I'm not likely to get that lost. I just love how pretty and quiet it is back here. We're kind of on a stone trail now. It's going down, so I wonder if this kind of goes down to the river. Kind of taking my uh, steps very carefully and gingerly here. Don't want to fall and hurt myself. It is nice, there are actually kind of steps here, so you can kind of take it slowly. You just gotta be very careful and watch where you walk. I'm guessing when this rains, this is probably turns into like a little waterfall. Don't let it ever be said that I'm not risking my neck for you guys. Now just for the record, if any of you are, are paranoid that uh, I'm going to kill myself on this trip, keep in mind that if you watch this, if you're watching this video, that means I got home and survived it, got home and was able to edit my video and upload it. So if you're seeing this, I survived at least at some level. Yeah, see, we're down by the river now. Just so I kind of know where to go back up. I think I'm going to drag this branch into the into the middle pass. So when I come back, it's like, oh yeah, that's my sign that I got to go up there again. Also, watch for the trash can. Yeah, see, we're just like 10 feet above the Brazos now. I think the biggest enemy I gotta worry about back here is mosquitoes. 
I like some of the big massive trees that are kind of providing the canopy over here. Some of these things are huge. All right, now I feel like a wimp. I just passed a family and it was a father and his two daughters, I assume, and the youngest daughter was about six. So yeah, I mean, if she can make it, I guess I don't really have any excuses. But yeah, that's basically where I came down from there. I mean, not quite in this area, but shows how much altitude I dropped here. I'm probably down about 100 feet. I kind of love some of the geology back here. You can see all the kind of different layers of the rock uh, as we come down the hill here. I suspect that when the rain falls that this kind of turns into a bit of a waterfall. we got water flowing down here which is what erodes everything away. This seems to be a pretty popular bike path, so I, one of these days I'll have to bring my bike down here. Well, let's check out the Dead River Trail. That sounds like an inviting place, right? This kind of should be taking us back in the direction of the parking lot, so we're going to have to gain some altitude. I see evidence of horses back here, too. So if a horse can make it, so can I, of course. Yeah, I think we got evidence there's been horses here. You know, something lives in there. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Something good size. Slow winder. I think I'm gonna go this way.
kind of trying to keep the talking to a minimum here so you can kind of hear the nature around us. So I think I've done kind of a lap and I'm coming back down towards the river here. Yep, there's the Brazos again. Oh yeah, I remember uh, seeing that sign when I came through, so. Yeah, we're back on the way we were, so we're on our way back now. I hear some rustling in the underbrush here. I'm trying to see if there's something else out here to see. Might be something up in the trees, I don't know. You gotta kinda keep your ears open for that. That was actually how I uh, saw the armadillo the first time. Didn't see it, I heard it. Yeah, you got a little bird wildlife across the river there, I think you can see. Got it zoomed in as far as I can go here. Back to the trash can again, so I guess this is the way back up again. Somebody pulled my uh, branch out of, the, out of the road, it looks like, so. Yeah, here we go again.
Oh, I guess the road's right up there. Geez, 56 miles to California. I would have figured it was a lot further than that. Back into the bamboo forest again. So this isn't quite the same path we took down here, obviously, but the fact that there's a road over there, I'm not going to probably get too lost. And we're kind of going the general direction I got to go, so we'll get there eventually. Yeah, little switch back here. Makes sense there's gonna be a few of these here because we gotta gain some altitude because we came down a long ways.
yeah, I think we're just about back. You can see a parking lot up there. Assuming it's the same one I left. So yeah, we've succeeded in making it back to our starting point. That was a nice little hike. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, just kind of a little uh, walk through the wilderness there. So I think that's all I have for today. I'm going to go home and recover now a little bit because I'm exhausted. So thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.